this is going to be historic why is it going to be historic because you are the first batch of sharda university who is going to learn some basics of geomorphology in the field itself okay so do you see this is a stone park okay we are standing at confluence of the stream of ganga and the main river ganga here and the area where you are standing here okay this is like a stone park and why i'm saying it is a stone park because this is a rich geological history in front of you how to identify rocks and how to characterize them is what we are going to learn in next 5 minutes only to concentrate for 5 minutes here everything will be clear to you now first thing that you observe there are stones which have layers you see this these kind of stones which are distinctive do you see these layers in these stones okay do you see these kind of stones carefully if you observe here these layers are visible but if you touch them it's smooth so it looks like it is layered up but it is smooth in characteristic okay so this is basically sandstone metamorphosed to quartzite what did i say sandstone is metamorphosed to quartzite okay but it has the layers here it means the silt that kept depositing years after year okay and got sedimented together fused together is visible here so this is evidence of geological time scale layering one layer may have taken 1000 years so what i am holding in my hand is you are sitting here in shivaliks so roughly 25 to 35 million years of earth history i am holding in my hand okay that's what the weightage of this paper is that you are studying here so if you observe you see here these different distinct colors here in the layers of these rocks this is because of the reaction with water these minerals chemical reactions so if they react their colors are different some minerals where you have iron content will look different will look darker some looks lighter where you have more silica content okay so if you want to identify these stones for example so you see these smooth stones here okay then you see these layered up stones here there are some stones like this if you observe like these stones here do you see this so these stones also represent if you see carefully if you know something called folding this is the best example of how these folds have been created do you see these folds okay so if you know what is a fold in your books you will not be able to identify a fold even a small level of crinkle a small rock has so many layers of these folds and if you see if i put my hand here like an axis of a fold this is non symmetrical asymmetrical fold if i cut it from here this is not equal to each other right so this is asymmetrical folding which has happened for multiple years so this rock is a rich repository of how we learn the formation of himalaya folding young fold mountains it's in our hand so roughly you have this 65 million years of history just preserved here in this rock this is how we do evidences in the field okay so this is one kind of stone if you observe the other kind of stone so now here just take a look into different kinds of stone most of the stones which i said here is quartzite okay quartzite stones have one major feature their surface is smooth okay because they are metamorphosed but if i tell you that some stones are rough in characteristic so rough stones which are made of sand are called sandstones okay so sandstones are not smooth as quartzites because they still are to fuse together so this fusion has not happened that's why they are still sandstones so here you have a mix of sandstones limestones slates and quartzites sandstones limestones slates and quartzites are the major stones if you observe in this particular entire rock park here okay so if you observe this is a very interesting mix of learning rocks and minerals directly in the field so what you can do is collect some small specimen and identify yourself with this for example this is the most unique one here you see this these distinct layers how sediments have layered up together and now you cannot separate them if i try to pull this i cannot separate it how well it is fused together look at these layers these wonderful layers if i clean it you'll see there is a shine here as well right so this is one of the specimen you should say when you read sedimentary rocks this is the best and finest example of a sedimentary rock and what is this rock it's quartzite it's no more a sandstone it is very smooth right but if i tell you where is sandstone 
so here is a sandstone if you observe here this is still sandy texturized you see this but if you see this stone and this stone look here what has happened to this stone it converted to this now you don't see much of coarseness it's becoming smooth right so these kind of things are the distinctive things that we should look into so this is for you here you'll also find some conglomerates for example this is the best example of a conglomerate this feature if you observe do you observe here so many rocks fused together in one conglomeration is aggregation putting together so this is where you have different rocks which have been fused together you see this so this kind of stone collection together is called conglomerate okay so when you hear conglomerate sandstone siltstone limestone these words remember these are made because of fusion these are collections okay and the process is sedimentation which is very important to learn so this is one example of conglomerate rock and you have all these sandstones quartzites okay so this is one unique rock that, which i found which we can take to our lab also do you see this distinction here so when you hold it like this no feel proud as geographer that you're holding almost 45 million years of himalayan history in your hand that is its significance thank you